Right, I'm kind of excited about this next non-alcohol, uh, non-alcohol. I keep saying non-alcohol, alcohol-free beer. I gotta learn to say alcohol-free beer. Uh, it's non-alcoholic and it is 0.45 of a litre. So it's not quite, you see it's a little bit of a thinner um, can. It's not quite half a litre. Um, uh, I know that it's from a brewery that I really like. Baltica are actually one of these, I think it's Russian brewery, is it? Okay, we've got it. All right. Uh, Baltica, uh, cause it's written in several different languages here. Baltica, uh, zero non-alcoholic unfiltered wheat beer drink, wheat beer drink, sorry. Pasteurized ingredients are water, pale barley, malt, malted barley, whatever that means, the difference. Wheat malt, uh, malt extract, which is interesting, and complex food additive spice flavors, acidity regulators, citric acid, lactic acid, antioxidants, ascorbic acid, alpha to to tocopherol, T O C O P H E R O L hops <laughs> and keep at um keep at below 30 degrees celsius uh, i guess in case it blows up uh production date decibel blah 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 see pasture okay that is a beer that has far too many ingredients in it should have you know this is where the rhein heitzkabot would uh, knock that on the head so this is german beer um as opposed to you know no, sorry, this is a Russian beer as opposed to the German beers that conform to the Reinheitsgebot, which is the purity law so that you don't have all of this stuff on, on the background. I don't know what uh, some of those ingredients are. I mean, I know citric acid, obviously, you know, that's good, you know, and lactic acid, ascorbic acid. I mean, those things are scary, scary ingredients. Uh, food additive spice uh, acidity regulators. I mean, what is that? Antioxidants. They're supposed to be good. Ascorbic acid, uh, alpha tocopherol, tocopherol, um, scary. Brewed in Russia in St. Petersburg. Um, I don't like the ingredient list and that's the first time I've seen that, but I don't like it. Um, you shouldn't need that in beer, but let's just see what the beer tastes like. Because at the end of the day, citric acid we know is just like lemon juice. Ascorbic acid, I don't know. That's kind of scary because I don't know what it is. Lactic acid is fine because lactic acid is in many, many uh, sour beers. So there's going to be like a strange kind of sharpness to this beer. Um, I would imagine in very, very small amounts, but... Um, yeah. Um, okay. It's called Baltica. Number one, all the Baltica beers, they're numbered. So they go all the way up to something like 11 or 14 or something like that. I, I don't know, but um, they have some really, really good beers that I actually love the taste of and they're really good value as well. So we've got the pale malt in here. Um, it is wheat uh, as well. Predominantly, this is a wheat beer. So a lovely golden unfiltered colored wheat beer there you know that's that's us a lovely inviting color and it's the first non-alcoholic uh beer that i've seen with that kind of very very pale sort of um i don't know how you describe that it's almost like white grapefruit color um anyway uh nice big head of foam and there's a citrus note on top of this beer there's, there's no, I mean, they've put hops in it, but I feel like I'm, I'm smelling lemon as opposed to hops that have citrus aromas. <clears throat> um, how many acids do I need? Citric acid, ascorbic acid, lactic acid. And it smells of it. It smells chemically on the nose. Um, it smells sweet. Now, if you hadn't have told me those acids were in there, I'd probably actually have to say that's kind of pleasant. Um, like, but it smells clean. It almost smells like a cleaning product of citrus element. That's a funny one, that is.
Yeah, it almost smells like, you know, you, you've just come into the kitchen and somebody's wiped down all the surfaces uh, with some kind of GIF or something. And you get that really nice, bright smelling, clean aroma. Um, but here it's like, it's like lemon juice has been poured in on top of this. That's bizarre. Anyway, cheers, slancha, prost, or whatever it is in Russian. I'm not really sure. I have to look that up. That is horrendous. That is, a, that's not enjoyable beer. This actually doesn't taste particularly like a beer. It tastes like let's say you made a very weak wheat beer and in inside that like half a pint of that and maybe half a pint of kind of like a lemon juice cordial it's bizarre absolutely bizarre Oof. i don't know what that is but it scares me and i don't really want to drink any more of it um uh brewed in russia yeah i i don't know i think the germans have it right here with uh, their reinheitsgebot and i think that this uh should have followed that path because a normal wheat beer would have sounded really nice until i read the ingredients on the back um what does it say about uh the energy the calories on this one um ba -ba -ba -ba. i think yeah, 30 calories per per 100, so yeah, it's pretty normal for a wheat beer. That is incredible. You have never tasted anything like that. That's not a beer. It doesn't even taste so... actually tastes quite similar to what a Rattler tastes like. Um, and I wonder if that's what it's based on. And my perception would have been changed if it had said non-alcoholic radler beer because i know they have like this kind of like a there's an acidity a sourness and there's definitely those um acids in here um, and they're very 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 obvious to taste like you absolutely could not mistake the 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 lemon juice in here and you could not mistake you might not know what it is but the lactic acid the same component you get in most yogurts um, that's in here as well. I, I don't really want to drink that. Like, I can understand how people might want to drink this on, um, in terms of it being, like, sold as a different beverage. Like, a Radler is, you know, that's slightly different to a normal uh, alcohol-free beer. But I was expecting a wheat beer, and then when I tasted it, it just doesn't taste like a wheat beer. Having said that, it doesn't taste uh, too much like it's missing out on alcohol, which is pretty good. Um, and maybe, maybe if I give it a big enough chance, maybe I'll start to enjoy it. No. Anyway, that's my view on this brew. I'm out. Bye. Bye.